I don't know if this is a really pretty sight or like, girl, good fun. Huh? <laughs> Oh man, I always laugh how like one day I'll post like me getting on glam and then the next day it's like morning. Okay, anyways, um, <sighs> anyways, good morning. I literally did just like woke up, woke up, okay. Um, this is supposed to be an unedited day in my life from start of my morning to whenever I end this vlog, but I can't end it too late because I have to, anyways, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, but I figured we could do a full-blown day in my life because, like I said in my last vlog, we're only doing up till day 20. So we have two more vlogs left, and I just want to do, like, a day in my life. A day in my life. And also, guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Oh, I got my period last night in the middle of the night. Oh, my stupid alarm. Oh. But last night, I got my period around, like, one o'clock in the morning i was woken up by my cramps and i was like in the worst pain ever and then i was like okay i have to get up because i could not fall, fall back to bed i felt as if somebody was like Ugh, you already know <laughs> i don't gotta describe it but i had to get up and then i was trying to find my heating pad which thankfully i did oh i just oh where'd it go <laughs> Thankfully, I found it, but it was, like, stuck underneath my bed because I have so many gifts underneath my bed right now. I couldn't get it out, and I was, like, <laughs> I was, oh, yeah, uh-huh, dramatic queen last night. Long story short, found it, and then I also got, <sighs> keep yawning. I also got ibuprofen and thankfully it put my ass back to bed because I was like, oh my God, like, I was just in so much pain. But it like made sense, you know, like this whole last week I was just like, you know, PMSing. And now it just makes sense and it's like, <laughs> I'm not a depressed little shit, I was just PMSing, you know. Anyways, I think it's always really funny when like you're just so like not yourself and you're like what the f and then like you get your period and then you're like oh okay <laughs> it makes sense first things first though i have to make my bed actually alexa lights on alexa lights on okay okay whoa all right <laughs> i gotta make my bed first this morning but I'm not going to record that because this is an unedited day in my life. And you know how to make the bed, right? <laughs> okay, in the next clip, this will be made. Voila. Honestly, I would give this bed making maybe like, uh, I'm going to give her a 5 out of 10. Actually, no, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 just because it's Christmas. But she's kind of mid. Okay, so where do I even start? I, well, I'm, I gotta stop being so dramatic. I'm like, ah, oh, where do I start? <laughs> I forgot this is unedited, so like, <laughs> okay. Last, two days ago, two days ago. Wait, shit, fuck, hold on. Two days ago. So two days, <laughs> oh my God, I repeat myself way too much. Like just get the words out. Two days ago, I started a court of, a court of thrones and roses. I didn't know, first of all, hold on, backtrack. Oh my God, so much to unpack. I didn't know that was called Akitar. Akitar. 
Like, I thought they were two separate books because so many people were saying, oh, you should read A Court of Ro Thrones and Roses. And then so many people were like, oh, you should read Akitar. I thought it was two different books. This whole series is making me confused as shit because it's my first ever fantasy book that I've ever read, right? And listen, I'm not used to them talking about fairies and like creatures. <laughs> and I'm just like... It's really different. It's so different. And I mean, I will say as much as I am confused, I'm like into it. I'm into it because when I pick up the book, I'm like so out of reality, like out of touch with reality. I'm like, what's even going on? Like, where am I when I stop reading? But I didn't get to read much last night. So I'm only on chapter like, I don't know, I think seven so i still am so confused like i don't even know i can't i mean i know the main character's name is like Faya. i don't know but like it's so hard to imagine what they look like and when i was posting on my instagram stories somebody said that it would be a good idea like this is what they did to go on google and to look up like fan art because then like you can see like what the fairies look like yeah so I'm in my fantasy book era, and I'm not mad about it. I'm just confused as fuck. But anyways, I'm going to brush my teeth. <laughs> This is the best thing I ever added into like my self-care routine. I am so, so happy I got an electric toothbrush because I feel clean. Like <laughs> my teeth just feel so good and I love it. Like it's low-key my motivation to wake up in the morning. Over, over. I don't like how this door is open. It's kind of creeping me out. But yeah, other than me getting my period last night, I slept really good. I took some Let Me Sleep gummies. Girl, those put my ass out. Like, out like a light A. Like a light A. And um, I slept really good. And honestly, getting my period just makes me feel such a sense of relief. It's like, damn, I'm not crazy. I'm just a girl. And remember, I'm just a girl. You know, like, ugh, I don't know. Like, you know when, like, you just feel so out of pocket and you're like, why? What is going on? And then you get your period and you're just like, ah. I don't know. I'm just kind of in a really good mood today. So, let me stop talking about my period. <laughs> let me stop talking about my period. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Look. Look how adorable you look. Good morning, buddy. I love how every time I come downstairs in the morning, he's just chilling on a random pillow. Like, you are such a king. You are such a little king. My chichi. My little chichi. <coughs> Look at his face. Straight up chilling. I love you. But ow, my freaking phone fell on my toe. Girl, that hurt so bad. Before I started this clip, I was like, ow, ow, oh my god. <laughs> ow, that really hurt. Oh my god, I remember coming downstairs last night when I grabbed the ibuprofen. I did have a few cookies. I was like, I, I need some chocolate right now. So I had a few cookies. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm in just, I'm in such a silly, goofy mood, you know? You know? Alright. Pre-workout, oop! Excuse me. Pre-workout time, I finally got my hands on another Amino Lean Energy. It's nothing crazy, like, it's not a pre-workout that's gonna, like, make you jittery and, like, tingly, you know what I mean? It's just honestly just gonna give you, like, a little pep in your step. It's basically amino acid. <laughs> It's basically amino acids that's just gonna like
give you hydration and just like yeah actually i'm not even gonna pretend like i know my shit like that but you know it's just gonna make you hydrated and give you a little pep in the step so where are my i was gonna say my beauty blender my blender bottles i think one's in here yes and it's clean period poo period poo period all right let me add some water to this cup oh, I, I keep feeling like there was something that i wanted to say this morning and i'm like out of it i don't like do you ever just have all these things that you want to say and then like when you go to say them you forget i'm sure that'll come to me i think it was maybe about Akitar. Akitar. I can't believe I started my first fantasy book, guys. Like, I'm actually kind of hyped for myself because it's it's about time I start a new series. Like I was saying, I haven't had a book that, like, I've been wanting to read. I've kind of just not been in a rut, but honestly not really made the time to read. Oh, girl. Why can't I open this? Oh, got it. But so many people have been suggesting this book series, and I was like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. Never read fantasy before. And it's just like getting me out of my comfort zone a little bit. And also like they're dealing with like poverty and stuff like that. So it's kind of making me just like hella grateful for like the little things that I have. Which is why I just love reading so much. It always inspires me and just like makes me feel so much better. I don't know. Reading is like my favorite thing ever, but I just did two scoops. <coughs> Excuse-moi. I inhaled that powder. <laughs> All right. Let's do a little shaky shake. I am so... I'm so excited to go to the gym. Like, I'm so excited to go to the freaking gym. Okay, I will see you in the car. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Just put on my jacket, get my gym bag. You know the drill. 28 degrees, y'all. I mean, I'm sure it's colder somewhere else in this world, but 28 degrees. 28 degrees. Like, ah. Oh, my God. I cannot, I cannot. Sorry, it's probably really loud. But last night I was sitting in bed and I was like, it's just mind blowing to me how like in the winter I can sleep with like five blankets. Like I snuggle up with like all my blankets and it's so cozy. And then in the summer, well, I still be cuddling up with my blankets. Like, there's nothing like a good blanket. You know what I mean? Like, blankets just make me feel so warm, at home, cozy. Okay, let me stop talking about coziness because I'm about to work it. Work it and twerk it at the gym. Work it and twerk it at the gym. Hey, we're gonna twerk it at the gym. Hey, we're gonna twerk it at the gym. Hey. Okay, let's see. Podcast, call her daddy. Are you a Caller Daddy fan? Because let me tell you, I don't know where I was. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm an OG Call Her Daddy fan, but I love me some Caller Daddy. That's what I'm trying to get at. And oh, a Christmas gift to my ex boyfriends. I love how her podcasts are like videos. Oh my god. I would love to honestly have a podcast to like just shoot the shit. But I would definitely want like a co-host because I don't think I would be good on my own. Like I would definitely go blank. You know, like this mind, she got a lot to say. How it comes out, it doesn't. It just doesn't. I've always struggled with that. You know, like articulating my thoughts into a sentence, which is crazy because it's like I record so much like I should probably be better at it I don't know it's always something that I've thought about one doing a podcast and two like how hard it is for me to like get my thoughts out like girl just speak just speak but I think podcasts are so fun like I would love to just have a co-host like two girls just shooting the shit but like 
I don't got a friend for that. <laughs> I need a friend for that. Maybe I could like do it with my sister. Oh my God. If me and my sisters did this podcast, oh my God, we would fight. Maybe that would be good. Nah, not fight, but just like we all, we, us three sisters, we're so individually different, which is like, duh, obviously. But then again, like we all come together and have like the same opinions for some things. But yeah, anyways, how did I get on this topic? Oh, because I'm about to listen to Call Her Daddy. Okay, anyways, let's go. My booty is getting toasty because I got the heated seat on. Oh, God. Okay, I really hope I really wish I could roll my R's because if I when I can't like it just sounds like stupid like okay. I'm really on one today, huh outfit of the day. I Think this is so cute. I mean, okay. This is the most simplest outfit ever. It is literally gray sweatpants You can't even see hello Hello, can we get the angles girl? Okay, I think this is might be better okay very plain jane comfy outfit like i'm literally wearing gray sweatpants my favorite skims little like crew neck it kind of is like i don't want to say sherpa but it's such a stretchy fabric it's so comfortable this is just the main part of my outfit that i really love my santa socks ah can you even see them look how freaking cute like that's it that's all that is my outfit i thought it was cute like the little pop of christmas on the socks hell yeah hello <laughs> look at bird the first thing on our to-do list bird we gotta do our wash at least like two loads of it i have this basket that's sitting over here because my hamper was overflowing <sighs> oh uh-oh uh-oh that's not good every time i find like drill bits or I don't even know what this is something that has to deal with furniture I'm like what is about to fall apart <laughs> like what is about to fall apart uh, okay maybe I should just keep these just in case I don't know what these are definitely something to hold something up but like you know when you find like nails or like drill bits. I don't even know what they're called, but like those things on the floor and you're like, is my bed about to fall? Oh God, I'm nervous. I'm gonna put these in Cody's nightstand because, I mean, he's the handyman. Oh wait, my hamper. But anyways, my hamper was overflowing so I had to bring up a basket. That's how you know we're overdue. We're overdue. Birdie, you're so freaking cute. I, st I gotta stop petting you. Like, you truly distract me so much. Oh my God, this is insane. I feel like I'm swimming in wash right now oh my god we got the whites and the nudes and the grays light colors all black that is the biggest black pile oh god okay and then this is kind of like colored and jeans that's just kind of how i separate it and then i usually start with the largest pile which is obviously my black so all right welcome to my basement it's not cute down here but it's, it's functional, you know what I mean? Period. Period. Oh God, the dogs are barking and I hate when they bark when I'm home alone. I'm like, what is going on? What exactly are you barking at, bird? What exactly are you barking at? Nothing. Literally nothing. Somebody was probably just walking by. Y'all are crazy. Trucking right along through the to-do list. Next, we are gonna do the makeup brushes because I have a feeling I'm gonna put this on the back burner and it's one of those like top priorities. All right, 
<laughs> just wiping off my deodorant. Shout out Skims though, because genuinely every single time I'm wearing one of her bodysuits, I just feel so snatched and so good. I need to get, what I asked for for Christmas was a whole bunch of Skims long sleeve bodysuits because I love them. Like I love Skims so much. I could spend a whole video talking about them, which maybe I should. Maybe I should tax right off by a whole bunch of skims. <laughs> All right, deodorant. Best it's gonna get. All right, I got it. Usually when I clean my makeup brushes, I like using a little bar soap. I showed this in one of my Vlogmas videos. And then I also, this might sound weird, but I like using a facial cleanser because then I feel like it's getting deeper into the bristles and like just giving it like a good cleanse like it would my face. Does that make sense? <laughs> That's what I do. That's just what I do and it honestly does help and it keeps the bristles like really soft and I honestly just use a face wash that like I don't truly care about if I'm being honest. Like obviously I don't use like my everyday face wash. This is the Paula's Choice one. I do like this. It's just not my favorite face wash but it's what I got, so I'm gonna use it to clean my brushes. Honestly, this only takes me maybe like 20 minutes max, but it's just something I always put on the back burner, but like my face is obviously not the clearest right now. Like it's just kind of going through some things. I mean, I am on my period, but like, I don't know. I feel like between not washing my face consistently and just like, I need to clean the brushes. That's what I'm trying to get at. Oh my god, my hands are pruny. But that is such a beautiful sight. Like all of them are so clean, spotless, fresh. And now, oh, you can't even see me. My timer just went off for my wash. And usually if I'm just like, Alexa, pause, I forget about it. So I'm gonna pause on this really quick. I honestly just have to wipe up the sink. I'm gonna switch my wash. And we're gonna keep trucking along because we're doing so good today and I'm really proud. Looky the looky, look at all the brushes back in their home. So excited, all my camera batteries died, but the show must go on. So we're just gonna vlog on my camera using my beautiful little tripod to record me about to vacuum. <laughs> How fun. Here's the thing. My camera batteries have been charging for maybe like two and a half hours now. Well, okay, that's 
that's cap. <laughs> it hasn't been two hours. But my camera batteries have been charging for so long, like at least an hour. And they're still like all dead. I'm kind of confused, a little concerned. But nonetheless, whoa. Color. Sir, are you gonna let me go? Thank you. Anyways, I'm on my way now to my sister's salon to get my brows done. And I just kind of got ready a little bit. Didn't do anything crazy. Just wanted my skin to not look so red and crazy because I do plan on going to Sephora and then Target. I was just trying to like finish everything that I wanted to do before I left because I was just gathering like all my gifts and I was like, wait, I need more, I need more. So that put me in like a little panic, but it's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out. And then I looked at the time and I was like, oh, all right, I gotta literally leave right this second to go get my brows done. So nonetheless, we're on the way to get my brows done. Ooh, the skin looks really good. I just threw on like a little tinted moisturizer, some highlight. We've been looking good, girl. But yeah, these are the before. I don't know how much I'll be able to record. I mean, I'll definitely try vlogging on my phone, but I don't know if my camera batteries are gonna last. I kind of just like threw them. I kind of just pulled them off my, I kind of just pulled them off the charger and said, you're gonna be charged for me. So we shall see how long they last, but I'm excited. These brows are literally so fluffy. They are about to fly away. So I'm so happy. Like my sister hooks me up. You'll, you'll see, you'll see. The busy motherfucking traffic. The busy freaking traffic. <laughs> the busy freaking traffic. Mm. My, um, my sister called me. My sister called me on my way to the salon and she basically said she was running late. So we're pushing back our appointment to three o'clock. It is currently 2.20. Stuff, stuck in traffic trying to get to Target and I completely forgot what I wanted to get Cody is available at Ulta too so I'm going to the Target with the Ulta right across so I don't have to go all the way to Sephora and then the Target you know what I'm saying so it kind of works out perfectly so as soon as I'm done with like my brow appointment I can go right home start wrapping and then I think Cody's gonna come over I'm not really sure how it's all gonna unfold, but I'm getting my wrapping done tonight. Oh my God, I have freaking wash. Still the dryer. Ugh, why does wash take so long? You'll be doing something, you're like, oh, my wash. So, anyways, just a little update. <laughs> I'm gonna get my wrapping and I'm gonna get my freaking wash done. At least the two loads that I have in the wash currently. Uh man. I mean, right before I left, I switched it, so it shouldn't be like getting moldy or anything. Oh, wish me luck. Hi, buddy. Tino. Hi. Hi. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. We are currently at the salon. Period. Okay. All right. In there either. We made it to Kayla's salon. I went to, I'm speaking to you in the vlog, Kayla. I went to, um, uh, not Sephora. I was originally going to go to Sephora because basically Cody's not gonna watch this so I can say it, but I wanted to get Cody his favorite uh, face wash and moisture. not vlogs? Not vlog, miss, because he's like, I'm with you almost all the time. I know what you're gonna say. And yeah, oh, okay. I mean, if I send it to him, he's gonna watch it, but. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get him his favorite face wash and moisturizer because today I was like laying out all my gifts and since we're like doing Secret Santa, I'm like, oh my God, I don't have many gifts. So long story short, I ended up going to Ulta. And then when I was in line, the lady, she noticed I was holding First Aid Beauty and she was like, oh my God, I love that brand. And before like she even started talking, I could tell she was like a tanner, like tanning bed kind of woman. You know what I mean? Kayla? Yeah, I'm listening. And she was like, yeah, I grew up in Florida, so I'm a tanning girly. She was like old too. And like the way Aww. she was talking, it was just so cute. And she was like, I love that brand. She was like, what else have you tried? And it was just so cute. Aww. 
Yeah. Ooh, what is that little thing? This is like an exfoliator. Oh, fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I always literally ask you that, but. I think, yeah, last time I did them, I had this too. These are newer. Yeah, what's the, the purple thing? That's the exfoliant? So, well, so it exfoliates on this side and this side, but this one's more like finer, mm. so I like to use that side. And I feel like it really gets in between the hairs to yeah, clean them. I, yeah, I can definitely feel it. Yeah, literally, as soon as I stepped outside, the cold makes my eyes literally Me water. Me too. And I, when I was walking into Target, I was full on bawling. So I was like, oh God, people are thinking I'm here for retail therapy or something. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my God, they were literally sold out of literally all Everything. the wrapping paper. When you said you were going to Target for wrapping paper, I was like, oh, you a bougie bitch. <laughs> because I'm cheap, I'll go to the dollar store for wrapping paper. Oh, it gets yeah. ripped up anyways, you know? I know. So it's like, but for me, I'm like not gonna spend $5 on a roll. No, I get it. Last year I went to Costco and that was the best wrapping paper I've ever bought in my entire yeah. life. It was thick, it was nice. The wrapping paper that I used to wrap the pajamas, that I. It was nice, but I couldn't use, the tape wasn't sticking. Yeah. It was so thick and glittery. So, you know how I like unwrap the pajamas very carefully? <laughs> yeah. So at Corinne's grandparent, or well, her grandmother's, um, we do like a, like a game. So you just buy like stupid random gifts. Like, you like go white to, elephant? Yeah, kind of. So like you buy like stupid stuff, like one year, like cause of COVID, mm -hmm. like Somebody wrapped up toilet paper and had that in a game. You know oh, what I mean? But funny. like, who can't use toilet paper at their house? You know, like. I think next year we should do white elephant. And so, like, we bought like stupid stuff, and um, so I was like, I really like this wrapping paper, so I used that for like the game stuff. Mm -hmm. I had to use packing tape that I had <laughs> left over from oh, uh, when I moved because it was not sticking. And that is really but it funny. looks so pretty but with the packing tape because it's so glossy mm -hmm. with the glitter it looks really nice actually but people are gonna be so pissed because they're gonna be like of course this is how she fucking wrapped that's it because funny. you can't open wait it. so you reused my wrapping paper yeah I did. <laughs> that's funny because i started running out and i had just stuff like i needed to wrap for the game yeah I have like a little bit of wrapping paper left, but I like to use a different wrapping paper so I know what is for the game yeah. and what's for actual presents because I don't want to get it mixed up. Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're waiting on me. No, I'm not. Oh. I just like work around you moving. Yeah, you're used to it. But yeah, I did that too where I put like everybody's gifts in piles. Mm hmm. And <laughs> I'm the worst. So I'm like looking at all the piles and I'm like. I didn't get Pop Pop anything. Really? Yeah, so I need to go out and get him something. I got him a foot massager. Oh, that's funny. Because I got my mom a bath, or a foot bath thing. Because she was over at my house, and she was like, so do you still have that foot bath that you borrowed from me? I was like, actually, I threw yours <laughs> out. <laughs> I was like, but I have mom. So I was like, she I was sold mom's. She probably mom's. mad, wasn't she? No, she was like, well, can I borrow? I was, she was like, can I either use this now, or can I borrow it? And I was like, well, here, I'll set it up for you. So she whipped out her dogs. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she did not. Yeah, so I got her like Epsom salts and um, I oh got her the book bag. That is too funny. And then I'm going to do that. It's like Simba. Mm hmm. Hey, Siri. Oh, you got Siri? Oh, you're using your phone. <laughs> it's like, damn, you got hey, Siri, Siri up in this bitch? Say hi to the vlog. Hi, TikTok. Hi, vlog. <laughs> this is such a beautiful angle of me. Nice. Nice. That's funny, let me see. <laughs> Doing your brows at the same, same time. time. Yep. That's funny. That's how we do it around here. Yeah, literally. All right, girls, the brows are done. And Alyssa, Kayla, not Alyssa, Kayla. Both my sisters always slay when I leave their... <laughs> I can't speak. Every time I leave the salon and get something done, I just feel so overly excited. So the words, they're not flowing. But these brows, though, like, 
Can we just take a second? Listen, I get the, the, the fluffy thick brow isn't for everybody, but it's like the only thing that I feel confident in. And like, I don't have to style them when I have the lamination done. And like, they're obviously looking super red right now, but like, she slayed. She slayed the brows and I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so cute. I cannot wait to like do my makeup. Sorry, the autofocus on my camera, I don't know what it is. I've been low-key thinking about getting a new camera because like this one's good for pictures, but like vlogging, it's so bad. But anyways, the brows, ah, they look so freaking good. I obviously tried recording as much as I could, but I was off also making a TikTok, but I love them. And also before I head out of the salon parking lot, I wanted to share what I got at Ulta. These are Cody's gifts, but I want to share. These are, this is what I got Cody for his little, like, I always get, get him a little bit of like self-care, a little self-care moment. I got him a candle and I was thinking of putting all of this in like one box together. So our favorite cleanser, I actually posted this on my story. Cody and I, well, first of all, I put Cody on, Avi, Avi, but he had the smaller version of this and it was like out, like no ounce of freaking liquid left in this cleanser. And I remember going to use it and he goes, whoa, 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 I have none left, don't use that. And he was like, it's been three days. Like he's been squeezing it out for like three days, but it was so funny so long story short i got him the jumbo size of the cleanser and i also got myself one because this is the best cleanser ever i've gone through so many different ones and this is just very gentle it cleans it gets all the gunk the makeup everything off my skin without it feeling tight and dry love this cleanser from first aid beauty it's so good for sensitive skin literally if you have skin and you need a cleanser try this one out they have so many different sizes too so obviously this is the jumbo size it's like huge and hopefully this will help us to not run out super quick it is eight ounces but i believe they have like a travel size oh wait yeah they do they gave me a little travel size because i bought enough <laughs> i bought enough first beauty first aid beauty damn i really can't speak get it together um, I bought enough First Beauty to get like a free gift and they gave me a little travel sized of the cleanser So if you want to try it out, I highly highly recommend it like, you know me I'm always trying out different skincare, but this is the one cleanser. I will always repurchase this and my toners and the Cotyledon serum <laughs> Okay, anyways, and then I picked up these two. This is also my favorite moisturizer his favorite moisturizer I wish this was an ad. It's not um, the first aid beauty ultra repair cream. This is like when I am breaking out in an eczema flare-up This is the only cream that helps calm down my skin and I actually recently started using this again Because the winter months like I just I don't know. I feel like some of the Oh, please don't tell me. Oh, yes. He is literally parked next to me Okay, somebody's coming out of the salon and now I feel awkward as shit because I'm recording Please don't stare at me. Okay um, I feel really awkward, but, um, long story short, this is the only cream I'm really trying to like be strong here and be like a confident main character energy right now. I always feel so awkward. Okay. He's not even going to be looking at me. Um, yeah, see he's backing out. Anyways, this is the only moisturizer. <laughs> I really just had a conversation with myself. This is the only moisturizer that has helped with my eczema and just like, maintaining my irritated skin and i recently switched back to this in the winter because the moisturizers that i'm using now i just feel like they have so much stuff in it that i don't need like i just need the calming sensation of a moisturizer like the basic general moisturizer and this has collateral oatmeal in here and it's really good and like you can use this on your body on your face so i picked him up another one because again he's scraping the bottom of his i already have one of these at my house but ultra i mean um first aid beauty is really that girl like really that girl so got him the moisturizer and then i also picked up these for him this is like a not a travel pack but just a smaller pack they have like a bigger container these are the facial radiance pads i'm not sure if he's gonna like these but he has been experiencing just like I don't even know. I don't know if they're breakouts or if they're ingrown hairs because of his beard. But basically, these are a very gentle exfoliant for your face. And Cody's 
Cody's a guy, okay? He doesn't want to spend time and energy on his skincare routine. So I was thinking the cleanser, obviously, the moisturizer, those two, he got down pat, okay? He's good with it. So I was thinking we could easily just maneuver in like the facial radiance pads because he needs to exfoliate his face, especially like his pore area. So I don't know, we shall see. Just grabbed these because I really like them. And so I thought he could give them a shot. I always love getting him like some skincare and stuff. Oh, now Kayla is getting into her car. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, that's all I got from Ulta. I just wanted to show you before I get home because now we are about to wrap some gifts. So let's get into it. when he opens this. I mean, I'm gonna wrap it with like paper. I can't. <clears throat> I started wrapping, so now everybody is joining are, the are, workshop. Oh, I was gonna make a, my last skit, record another TikTok. That video is still coming up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Alexa, oh. pause. But now it's probably like kind of coming back again. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like going full circle again. Last year, I recorded like an ASMR video of me rapping, and I did not think anything of it. I just thought it was cute and, you know, content. And it blew up. It's almost at 2 million views of people roasting my ass. Somebody, my favorite comment was like, girl, you need to stick to makeup because <laughs> rapping is not your thing or something like oh, that. Oh, they were going off. But somebody was like trying to defend me, and she was like, I don't know when everybody became Bill Nye the science guy, but something along those lines. Oh my God, the comments are funny. Like at first, it was like when I kind of just started getting into TikTok a little bit. And like, I was not used to hate comments like that. Oh my God. It was, it was a time for sure. But I definitely want to not recreate the video, but you know, do a little something, something. Oh, don't think I forgot about my wash. <laughs> I'm doing so many different things at once and I didn't even realize what time it was. It's almost seven o'clock. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna put my wash away. I'm gonna edit this video and I will see you guys tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I feel like it was a very productive day. I still have a lot of gifts to wrap, but I hope you enjoyed that little montage, montage, time-lapse. Time-lapse. Mm-hmm. I hope you enjoyed the time-lapse of me 
me, my dad, my mom, we're all now rapping and it's a good time. We're listening to Christmas music, drinking some wine. Cody's gonna bring over Chinese food. It's gonna be a night. So I will see you in the next vlog. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.